Hi, welcome to the Elite Automation YouTube channel. I'm Jenna. This is Malachi. Today, we're going to be walking you guys through how to set up Mirror AMR. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this thing. If you haven't seen any of our other videos, we have like uh, probably like five or six videos that have came out or are coming out. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go check out the other videos if you have any other mirror AMR questions. And we'll be doing other AMR technology videos into the future as well. As well as like fanning, uh, robot programming, PLC, and just general industry knowledge. So go ahead and we're going to go to setup right here. We're gonna go to footprints. Okay, and for those for those of you guys who don't know what a footprint is, uh, a footprint is basically just letting the AMR know what is on its top module or maybe even behind it. Uh, so that way, whenever it's running its algorithms for like where it can fit and where it can navigate to, it uses that calculation uh, to decide its paths. It can also have an impact on the stopping distance and acceleration. Uh, or also turning because it, it's using the overall size uh, as part of its like mass calculation and weight distribution. All right, so we're gonna go up here and go create footprint. Okay, and we're gonna name it Elite Automation. All right, uh, hook footprint. So this would be like if you're pulling something behind it and what size of cart that you have behind it. So, like I said, this is going to overall uh, help the AMR map out the proper path and also let it know what footprint it is actually taking up in space. Okay, uh, robot model, that's the proper robot model. Go ahead and select it though and just see what our options are. So you have the 250, the, five, the 500 to 1000, the 600 to 1350. Uh, these are all in kg. So uh, the, right now the biggest one is about like 2600 pounds of uh, capacity. All right, so our platform that we have on the top of our unit right now is roughly uh, 0.3 meters. So all this is in metric. Uh, a lot of the stuff you'll see in metric, a lot of robot stuff in metric as well. So click your dot. And then I hate the way that they go about doing uh, this measurement here because it, for me, it makes it a little bit harder in my head to know how much distance we need because it's doing it off of a diagonal uh now when it comes to like mechanical engineering a mechanical engineer can just pull this value for you but like you need to go out there with a the measuring tape like we know we're uh 0.3 meters by 0.3 meters by 0.3 meters uh from center okay so we're just gonna go ahead and take this and put it out to a five okay. you can do that or five highlight it and see if it'll let you adjust it yeah by the way guys I just want to point this one out this thing's i'll just do it it's they did they, their interface right here i'm not gonna lie it's like just trash uh like you can't even put a negative in here yeah basically you have to use these right here there's a way to manipulate it uh where you can actually put in a hard value but there we go But yeah, it's just, it's silly that you can't just put in a hard value and run with it. Now, what's this one at? Point three seven eight in Y. We're just going to go ahead and take this one. We want smaller or bigger? We are going bigger. Okay, we're going to go 0.5 on this one, positive. Maybe we'll do another video on the actual calculation of this, uh, just to really show how how that's done. But as of right now, I just wanted to show you all the user interface of this. And actually with the unit we have on here, I don't think we have to adjust our footprint. I think the onboard footprint is already uh, big enough. Okay, and just like the next dot. Just 
you put these all nice flat round numbers. All right, there we go. 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Boom. All right, so this is the footprint we're gonna use here. We're just gonna simply save it. And then you have to go back to the previous screen. Gosh, where'd it go? There's two pages. All right, guys, this is basically I'm gonna show you all how to do, how to get to a footprint. We'll probably do another video on how to actually calculate the footprint. Uh, I forgot that the calculation of this footprint thing is not super straightforward and, and intuitive. Um, so we'll get back with you on that one. Uh, hopefully at least this got you to be able to get to where the footprint's at and kind of manipulate it and modify it to what you need. And if we had a little bit more time, we could poke around and just get it figured out. But I can't remember exactly how, what the math is for doing the footprint. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. And I think the next video is us creating a mission uh, in the, the Mir AMR. So stay tuned for that one.